Savannah, good morning. The prosecutor came out swinging during his closing argument, telling the jury anything less than a conviction on first degree murder would be an injustice. She will not let him rest in peace. But now, instead of a gun, instead of a knife, she uses lies. Point by point, prosecutor Juan Martinez took apart the testimony of Jody Arias, yes. highlighting inconsistencies and contradictions Why? in an attempt to show the jury she knew what she was doing when she killed Travis Alexander in June of 2008. Arias claims it was self-defense. You have her lying about those gas cans. And then you have her lying about the license plate. And you have her turning off her phone so that she can't be found in Arizona. He's tried to say she's a liar. She's a manipulator. She's a premeditator. She thought about this uh, and then she did it. This is not in the heat of passion. This is not the victim of domestic violence. The jury also saw graphic photos of Alexander, some so gruesome his sisters were reduced to tears. He doesn't have any weapon whatsoever. Not only does he not have that, he doesn't have any clothing on. And as he sits there, he doesn't have any dignity either. She's taken that away from him. Martinez reminded jurors of what Alexander said days before his death. You, Jody Arias, are the worst thing that ever happened to me. At times it seemed too much for Arias. She sobbed and dabbed at her face. But Martinez told the jury that if they valued facts more than Arias' lies, they had only one choice. Return a verdict of guilty as to first degree murder for no other reason than it's your duty and the facts and the law supported. Now the jury can convict on a lesser charge such as second degree murder or manslaughter. As for the defense, we're going to be hearing their closing argument in just a few hours. And after that, it's up to the jury.